Joining me in studio is sports attorney Dominic Romano. Dominic, thanks for being here. Thank you. So, so we know that Mr. Jackson is not the first NFL player to be suspended for marijuana. What do you think about this? Should, should they be allowed to smoke pot and play football? These laws persist, not just in, in states, in the sports, that it, it's a serious violation. You get suspended without pay, uh, which is the remarkable thing. So should that be the case? If we're moving away from uh, pot being criminalized and out of bounds on the, on the social side, on the legal side, when it comes to the sports field, should we change the rules? That's arguable, right? But what's clear is that the rule is in place today. So a lot of these guys, remarkably, 10 players this year already, 10 of them right. suspended by the NFL alone, they're choosing marijuana over money. And it's costing them serious cash. Well, yeah, these guys are making small peanuts. Yeah. And, and the, with Mr. Jackson, he was suspended indefinitely, not because it was his first offense, but his second offense. So he is a repeat offender. And as you said, the NFL sees this as somebody who disregards their rules, whether or not you think you can smoke pot or not. Yeah. And, and in fact, it's the second recent offense. It's the fourth time in his seven year career. He's almost spent more time suspended than he spent playing, which is really unusual. You know, he, he was suspended without pay. He was working in a warehouse. He came back. He said it was a very humbling experience. This calls for a lifestyle change. And then, boom, once again, suspended, once again. suspended indefinitely. So with regard to the rules, I mean, look, you know, there's NFL rules. There's what's out of bounds and what's permissible. A player can't unilaterally decide, hey, I want to play Canadian football rule, CFL, change the dimension of the field. You've got to play within the dimensions of what's permissible right now. The commissioner is taking a small step in that direction, it would appear, by allowing the medical exception. Okay, but well, we'll see. We'll see. Maybe this year he'll change his mind. So thank you very much. Be sure to follow Dominic on Twitter at Romano underscore law and check out his website, RomanoLaw.com. I'm Tamara Holder and Sports Court is adjourned.